In this section, we can access the BIM integrations currently available in Edificius. To access the integration panel, click on this button here at the bottom. This opens the integration sections that allows Edificius to communicate with other ACA software solution. And we have Edilus for structural calculations and analysis, then Thermus for energy performance calculations and certifications, and Primus for construction cost estimating. So this is Edificius and these are the main features of the software. But let's move on to another very useful tool that allows us to work in a fourth dimension environment. This is the 4D Gantt for the time managing of a project. Through the construction of a WBS, it is possible to subdivide the project into periods and connect them to the object of our model. To access the 4D Gantt environment, click on the Gantt button on the lower left panel. The work environment is presented with a top window that by default shows the 3D view, but we can also change this view and choose a perspective or a real-time rendering. And the slower window brings us to the Gantt options. At the top of the Gantt window, we have a series of buttons that allow us to manage visibility and add or manage general activities. In the central part, we can define the photo reel for the animation's creation, so our model views that we want to display on the Gantt animation. On the right, we have the Gantt toolbox with two tabs related to all the model entities and the other one related to the selected object. Let's see what are the options related to the Gantt. We have the Gantt layout, where we can define if we want to see the horizontal line or the vertical ones, the lower scales, and if we want to highlight the holidays. Then we have the chronological scale, which is divided into an upper scales and the lower scale. And here are the zoom options. And then we have the holidays management. We can define for each month and each day if we want it to be an holiday or a working day. We have the style tab with the colors and the pattern for both the activities and the summary. We can choose whether or not we want to display the working days and we can highlight the periods without connected objects. And now let's see how to operate. To add an activity simply click on this button. For each activity we can define a name for example here we can type in foundation and here we have the work duration and it can be modified using the mouse cursor. Here we have the starting date and the end of the works. Let's also see how to associate an object to this activity and we have different operating ways to do this. For example we can open the visibility menu and hide all the object but the beams, because in this case we are interested just in the foundation. So I will select and associate them to this activity by clicking on this button or simply opening the selected tab on the right and dragging the node beam over the activity. On the right we have the list of all the objects connected and here at the bottom we have the animations type. In this case we want an animation that evolves in plan view. Now let's add some other activities. By clicking on this button we can create a group that includes all different activities and then we bring them to the end of the foundation's work and also for this we can define a start and a finish date. We do the same for all the three activities and now we want to associate them with the main one, which we will call horizontal envelopes. And then rename those as envelope 1, envelope 2 and envelope 3. Now we should return to our 3D view and activate back the visibility of the horizontal envelope. So we can select this envelope and associate it with this activity. Select this one and associate it and select this last one and associate it too. 
And here we have created a group of activities. Now let's create another activity by clicking here and we will name it stairs. We can move it and define a certain period. With this button we can add a new period. So this will be the second stair to be realized after one day. And then we add another period that will be for the last stairs. We always return to this view in order to make the stairs visible. And by selecting the activity we can associate all the stairs one by one. So the first stairs we can associate it with this. The second to this. And the third with this period. And in this way we build the Gantt. Another function allows us to connect two periods clicking on this button. Click on the first period holding down the left mouse and releasing it over this other period. At this point the two periods are connected so we can move the first while holding down the left arrow of the keyboard that's because the linked period is on the left. Vice versa, if the period connected was on the right, we should have clicked on the right arrow. The two periods remain connected and they keep the same distance. It is also possible to load a pre-made photo reel by clicking with the right mouse on this task. Let's open an already made model in which we have a complete Gantt. We can see the whole structure of the WES has already been realized with all the elements. And by clicking here we can start the animation. As we can see our structure is growing up from the earthwork, then the foundation, all the parts in elevations like walls. And as you can see we can follow the timeline through the calendar.